What's up guys? Today I bring you an exciting new retro station add-on for your Steam Deck. So Explosion of Fun has just launched its retro station deck, which comes in three options. So you can either choose a 256 gig micro SD card for 65 euros, or you can grab a 512 for 99 euros, or you can go all out and grab the massive two terabyte hard drive for just under 120 euros. And with the two terabyte drive, you also get this handy protection cover. So you can actually attach your hard drive on the back and the drive does stay secure via Velcro, but it's also quite easy to remove when you're not using it. So you've got three options to choose from and it will basically turn your Steam Deck into a multi-system emulation console capable of playing all your favorite retro games from old school Atari, Amiga, MAME, Neo Geo, N64, PSP, PlayStation 2 and the list goes on. Now all the software and games are already loaded for you so it's not going to take up any of your valuable space on your Steam Deck. And all the games are run directly off the drive or the SD cards. So no tricky installation required. This is simply plug and play. So let me show you how this works and then we'll play some games to see what the Steam Deck can handle in terms of emulation power. So we're gonna be testing the Retro Station Deck two terabyte version. So first of all, just place your Steam Deck into the protection cover. Then you simply attach the two terabyte drive on the back. You can see they are secured via Velcro. So just attach it like so and completely shut down the Steam Deck. So once the power is completely off, connect the Type-C cable from the hard drive to the Steam Deck. And you can see the hard drive does not get in the way whilst you're playing. Now to start playing your retro station games on your Steam Deck, with the power completely off, keep the volume down button press and press the power button once. You'll hear a beep and just wait for the boot screen to come up. Okay, you've got the boot manager you're gonna select the EFI USB external hard drive. So that's the third option. And then you just press the A button. So in a few moments, you'll see the intro splash screen load up with the Marvel characters. So Retro Station loading up for the first time does take a minute or two. Thereafter, subsequent boots will be much quicker. So here we are all loaded up. I'll give you a quick walkthrough. You can see categories on the side with a preview. All games are currently selected and you can see the total number of games there. If we go through the systems, We've got Amstrad and you can see the number of games there and you can even see what the system controls look like. So let's keep going. We've got Final Burn Neo, Atari 2600, Atari 800, Atari 5200, Atari ST, Atari 7800, Atari Lynx, Jaguar, Wonderswan, Wonderswan Color, Coleco Vision, Commodore 64, Amiga 1200, Scum VM, Odyssey 2, Intellivision, Vectrex, MS DOS, MSX1, MSX2, MSX2 Plus, Xbox, Triforce, never heard of this one, PC Engine, Super Graphics, Game and Watch, Nintendo, Famicom Disk System, Game Boy, Super Nintendo, Virtual Boy, N64, Game Boy Color, GameCube, Game Boy Advance, NDS, Wii, 3DS, Wii U, Switch, Open Beats of Rage, Ports, Atomis Wave, Sega SG-1000, Sega Master System, Sega Mega Drive, Sega CD, Sega Model 2, not heard of this one, Sega Saturn, Sega 32X, Sega Model 3, again I've not heard of the Model 3, Dreamcast, one of my favorites, Naomi, awesome, Sinclair ZX Spectrum, Neo Geo System, Neo Geo Pocket, Neo Geo Pocket Color, Solaris, PlayStation Original, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation Portable, and we're back to all games. So you can see a lot of systems included. Now, I wanna quickly show you that you can actually change the theme. So this is the default retro station theme, which is pretty good. I really like the backgrounds and the different characters that come up. But if you wanna change things, you can do so. All you need to do is go to user interface settings, go to theme set, and then you'll have two options there. 
retro station or ES theme carbon. So if we just go to ES theme carbon, just to show you something different. So this is basically the standard default theme that you get, uh, which is uh, quite basic. I'm gonna switch back to the retro station theme, which is definitely quite impressive. You can also connect to Wi-Fi, then go to updates and downloads, and then you'll be able to download from a whole bunch of themes available completely free, and you can change the look of this as required. So you do have a lot of customization options. All right, so I wanna test this thing out. I wanna see how Retro Station actually works on the Steam Deck. We're gonna start with what I believe will be the hardest to emulate. So let's begin with PS2 emulation. And I'm just gonna load up God of War 2. Here we go. The next console we're going to test out is going to be Dreamcast. Here we go. So while we're here, I just want to quickly check out what Sega Model 3 is. Right, time to test out some Switch. So the Retro Station 2TB drive is quite impressive, but if you prefer to travel light and you're considering the Retro Station micro SD cards, which I believe offers an equally good experience. So I've got the 512 card here. Just stick it into the SD card slot. Make sure your Steam Deck is completely powered off. And again, all you're doing is keeping volume down pressed and then you're long pressing the power button. As soon as you hear that beep, let go and wait for the boot up screen to appear. And then you're just selecting SD slash MMC card, hit A, and wait for Retro Station to load up. And here we are guys, Retro Station micro SD version. You have exactly the same systems. If I go to all games, you can see the total number of games are still pretty good. And the best thing of having Retro Station on SD card um, is it's great for traveling. So when I'm at home, I got no problem using the full two terabyte system. I can just relax and play through all my favorites. But for traveling, I think it's much better to have the micro SD card version. So you can play your games on the go and you don't have to carry all this with you. So really nice what Retro Station have done here.
So there you have it guys, that was the new Retro Station deck, giving you the full power of Retro Station's emulation system to enjoy on your Steam Deck. So you get a massive library of games to enjoy, and most games and systems that I tested all played quite well. Now the Steam Deck design kind of reminds me a little bit of the Nintendo Wii U, so playing Wii U games felt quite good on this. Controls are already configured and ready to place. Now personally, I do really like the Retro Station UI and menus. You have great customization options. Everything runs directly off the micro SD or the hard drive. So no worry about your Steam Deck internal storage and also no worries about wiping your Steam Deck OS as this doesn't install anything. It runs directly off the drive. This works completely standalone, boots up from your chosen storage and it's ready to play. So really enjoying my Steam Deck even more thanks to Retro Station. I hope you found this one useful and if there is anything you want me to test then do let me know in the comments. Meanwhile you guys can expect more Steam Deck content coming your way. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.